So hello there and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Henry Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over my first IoT video. So to begin, what is IoT? I will be releasing another video on the topic really going into depth about what IoT is and what it means. However, I'm just going to quickly explain it. Internet of Things is quite self-explanatory. It's literally just lots of things connected to the internet so they can all, they can take their data and get them analyzed by something like IBM Watson, which uses machine learning, in order to benefit you or someone else or something. For example, your exercise machines like your treadmill could connect to your Apple Watch and it could give health data or exercise data and your Apple Watch could then send that to your iPhone and have that processed by Watson and algorithms and stuff and finally give you output in the form of what workouts you should do, how many calories you burnt, how, what sort of meals you should have if you want something really filling but least calories, that sort of thing. How much have you exercised? Have you gone over your goal? Are you going under your goal? Stuff like that. And so, again, trade-off analytics of another Watson service would be great for that. Uh, but continuing, that's basically what IoT is. However, today I'm going to be showing you how to, begin, how to create a starter IoT app in Bluemix. And so actually, I, w I met up with uh, Marcus Van Kempen, uh, who is an executive architect at IBM a few days ago. Uh, and so we were discussing things like uh, Watson hardware and especially IoT because that's where he's sort of um, working. Uh, and so, you know, he taught me a bit about this IoT stuff with Bluemix. And so, as part of my knowledge sharing uh, Tanne Bakshi uh, slogan, uh, I'm going to be sharing my knowledge about this with you. So let's begin. Uh, and so to start. Now, first of all, I'm going to be uh, bringing to your eyes another device that you probably have not yet heard of. It's called the TI. Uh, you know what? Give me one second. Oh, never mind about that. Okay, so TI sensor kit. Now, the TI sensor kit is just a little device. Sometimes, if you get it in a red case, I mean, it could look like this. But Never mind that, it looks however. But basically, it's a, a, the TI, Texas Instrument Sensor Kit, has 14 sensors on there, including humidity, temperature, accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, and uh, the a light meter, um, and lots of things like that, basically. Um, and so, you know, it has 14 sensors on there, uh, and all of them are accessible via Bluetooth. Also, one more device you probably have heard of. Your phone is something you're probably maybe using right now. <laughs> but uh, basically, you all know what a phone looks like and all phone looks different. But basically, it has one main sensor that Node.js can easily access, which is the location sensor. Okay. And so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use a Node.js app coded by Marcus. Um, and so basically, we're going to use the location sensor on the phone to output stuff on Node-RED, which is a Bluemix service and also something created by IBM. Uh, and then we're also going to use later the sensor kit with Node-RED and output sensor data. But then in part two, actually, I'm going to be describing to you actually how to create this stuff. Uh, and then in part three, I'm going to be showing you a actual sort of practical example. Okay, let's continue. So now let's look at the Bluemix side of things. Now in Bluemix, all we're really going to do is, first of all, um, deploy, um, sorry. We're going to deploy Marcus sample. So basically, um, Marcus has prepared some sample code for us to work off of. And so we're going to deploy that to Bluemix. And then we're going to create a node red starter app. Okay, so a node red starter. So that's basically all we need to do on the Bluemix side. However, there's also going to, you're going to have to use another device called a MacBook. 
or a Mac actually, just Mac OS X, the operating system. And so basically you have to have a Mac with Bluetooth low energy uh, enabled hardware. Uh, I mean, this could work for Windows and Linux, but I will, I might be putting links in the description uh, that contain links to repos that may help you uh, with connecting the TI sensor kit to uh, Linux or Windows. But then again, you have to have Bluetooth low energy on your system. And I'm not exactly sure if uh, there are scripts online for that, but I will try to find them and put them in the description if they are existing. Okay, so now first of all, what our goal is, is to take this phone sensor data, uh, location sensor data specifically, and bring it over to Bluemix and specifically debug it into Node Red. How are we going to do this? Let's begin. Once we deploy Marcus's sample, this is essentially going to be accessible from both Node Red and the phone. So what we're going to do is once we have the sort of host name in Bluemix, I'm sure you've used Bluemix before. Once we have a host name in Bluemix, uh, then we're going to take that host name and run that website onto our phone. So we're going to open up the website on our phone. Now it's going to ask, uh, first of all, if you're on iOS, it'll ask you if you can, I think Android does this as well, but it'll ask you uh, if you want, if you'd like to allow this website to access your location sensors and probably say yes, because of course you want it to be able to access your location. Then uh, it'll ask you to enter a um, unique identifier for your phone, which I mean, anything, TANME, whatever will work, your name actually, uh, but it must contain only letters and numbers, no, no spaces. Uh, and so, uh, once that's done, uh, this will start posting um, location sensor data into the um, CloudEnt DB database uh, on the app. Uh, and so now, this also this app also contains a IoT Starter Foundation Kit service, uh, and so basically that uh, service can be connected with Node Red. So let's just say we have that IoT service here. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect Marcus's deploys app to, deployed app to this IoT and then this IoT into Node Red. And then what we can do is from Node Red print out stuff. So we can print out location sensor data. Location data. Okay. That's that. That's how we would get location sensor data from our phone, whether it be Android, iOS, whatever. We're going to take this, put it into Bluemix, specifically the app, which goes to an IoT Foundation starter kit um, service, uh, come over here, uh, and then goes into the Node Red starter, which will then print out location data from the phone. That's that, but how are we then going to connect our sensor kit to Bluemix? Well, this is how do we do it, how we do it. First of all, we're going to configure some settings in the IoT. We're going to um, start working here and stuff. So nothing really that I can explain right now. We're going to have to do that in the implementation part, which is the next part. OK, so in the IoT, we're going to do some settings, fiddle around here and there, uh, so that I can actually recognize the sensor kit. However, next what we're going to do is pretend, actually, what we're going to do is via Bluetooth low energy, BLE, Bluetooth low energy. Uh, we're going to establish a sort of bi-directional communication protocol which can essentially allow the sensor kit and the Mac to communicate with each other. And then what we're going to do is in a Node.js, I hope you can see this, Node.js, um, thing in the Node.js script in the Mac uh, side, we are actually going to take this BL, this uh, TI sensor kit um, location data, magnetometer data, every single, for every single one of the 14 sensors on this uh, little board. We're going to take that sensor data, uh, bring it into Node.js, and then into straight, skip Marcus's app. It's just going to go straight into the IoT service which, of course, Node-RED is already connected to. And so then, finally, we can print out TI uh, sensor kit SK data. Now, what is an example use of this sensor kit? Well, let me explain. Now, let's pretend 
Now in this example, we're using location data. So since the sensor kit has acceleration, uh, acceleration uh, and motion, uh, motion location data, let's say you're shaking it really fast, like just really shaking it. It'll start speaking, I mean not speaking because it doesn't have a speaker on board, but it can actually print out to node red, please stop shaking me, something like that. How, and let's say you bring it down really low. It's going to use that location data and print out to, to node red, please, ri please uh, raise me up, something like that. And so then you can continue on and say, get the magnet away from me if the magne magnetometer data is really high. Stuff like that, that's just an idea. So now uh, in the next part, we're going to be talking about uh, how to implement this in Bluemix and then some more practical examples like please pick me up from the ground. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please contact me via Twitter at Tajimani. If you want to contact me on my email, tajimani gmail.com. Comment down below if you have any more questions, suggestions, or feedback. You can also email me a video question uh, if you have uh, a video question, of course, and I might just be it in one of my next videos. That's going to be it. GitHub 10 and beyond to 3. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, please, and subscribe. It does really help out for me. Uh, and that's going to be it for this video. Goodbye.